Longmore, oh, look at that crossover, pull up Jay. Katie Longmore with a next level tight move, able to shake the defender. Make it a 10-0 run. Deseret News Rewind is presented by Heidemann and Associates. Call them now for a free consultation, 801-754-4240, or go to utah.law. Welcome in Deseret News Rewind, Dusty Litzner and Dane Stewart as always, presented by Heidemann and Associates. That's right, Dusty, full service law firm, locations throughout the state of Utah, even you St. George, and if you have any sort of legal needs, give them a call, 801-754-4240. Absolutely, and also remember the Utah Army National Guard always are Sponsor here, we talk about quick hits, but all that, our consistent performers, our football videos are coming out, the award shows brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard. To learn more about how you can get up to $20,000 in educational assistance, go to nationalguard.com. All right, talking girls basketball. That's right. And this one, let's go to opening statement brought to you by Hattabin Associates. Let's talk about last year's state champions. The video we did for the boys last week, 6A state champion, the Bingham Miners. Yeah, boy, this is going to be a really fun team. They lost a couple pieces that were key contributors, the right? Pieces, yeah. Yeah, McCord, yeah. yeah. Ah, but they also returned Lichty. She's off to a good start this year, and uh, this is going to be an interesting Bingham team. The record-wise, hey, they look kind of good out of the gate, but that Region Three, you think? I think Riverton's better than I thought they'd be. Harriman right. looks really strong. Copper Hill's always good. They got pieces as well. That Region Three is going to be really, really tough. Uh, I think the Bingham team, they still got. Good pieces, right? Still have good players, but boy, I, it's going to be fun. Going to be a fun follow. -up. There's a monster up north we're going to be talking about in this yeah. video, too. So, uh, five a, the East Leopards, Coach Judy Solovi. Now, West, yeah. they graduated some of that talent, but they're back to back state champions. Yeah, they still have Falatea, right? And Desiree off to a really good start. They also have Fa Mausili underneath, so they've got some good pieces now. They, you know, you look at their record, doesn't look overly impressive. They have some losses. But I think that includes Fremont and Bingham. They've played some 6A teams and haven't been able to come out on the winning side of those. This is an East team that you're still going to have to fight with in Region 6. And that Region 6, I'm talking about how good Region 3 is, Region 6 is really good. Yeah. There's a lot of teams in that region that are going to be much improved this year over last year. Absolutely. All right, let's get into it. Uh, let's we'll start in 6A. Let's we'll start in Regions. We've got to get right to it. Yeah. Fremont yeah. did not win a state championship last year. Feel like they could make a huge yeah. run. This is another big year for the Lady Silver Wolves. It is, and you look at this Fremont team, how about a big win this week? They beat Copper Hills 63-62, and we talk about how good Copper Hills is, and that Region 3, Fremont gets a win. Gardner had 23, Calvert had 17. That sounds normal, right? No, Emma hit three threes. What? Right. Emma's developed the long ball? Look out, right? I mean, have fun with that. This Fremont team, they're really good, Dusty, and I think surprised that they didn't win a state championship last year. I'm sure that has the team a little more dialed in, focused, ready to go this year. Uh, Coach Dave Labatt always does a great job, and the Fremont Civil War is going to be a team to watch. Davis started out to 6-0. Yeah. You're going to have to figure into Region yeah. 1. Yeah, good start for Davis. Uh, they've been building the last couple of years. You could start to see the foundation, the pieces come together. It's going to be a, a team to keep an eye on. In the last three years, been three teams. Fremont, Davis, Syracuse. Yeah. Lead Titans on the 5-1 start. Got our eye on them as well. Region 2, been an up-and-down time for uh, Region 2, but Hunter out to a 5-2 and two start, and West Shore yeah. down 3-1. Yeah, this Hunter team, Dusty, they had a nice win over Brighton this this week. And Lou, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. My apologies if I'm not. 21 points, 8 rebounds. I think that Hunter team going to be interesting to keep an eye on in Region 2. But I'll tell you, Granger's got some players. And uh, still trying to get some detail on that. I heard some rumblings and trying to verify a source. We haven't had a chance to get out to Granger. Granger, if you're watching, hit us up. We'll make sure that we get you uh, the right information. But Granger might be a little bit of a, an underrated hmm. team to keep an eye on there in Region 2. It's been a while since we've seen Lady Lancers right, be in that right. spot. Uh, region 3, you know, we're talking about Region 1. How about Region 3? Harriman, Bingham, Copper yeah. Hills, and Riverton, all with four wins thus far. Yeah, well, I, I think Copper Hill is going to be an interesting team to keep an eye on. We talked about a one-point loss against Fremont, a really good Fremont team. They had a nice win over East, a game in which Tafisi had 25, Mausili had 19. Those are going to be the real two key players this year for Copper Hills. But can't forget, you still have Van Dyke at Harriman, right. right? You still got a lot of other teams. We already talked about Bingham, and they've got Lichty, Angelau, uh, as well as whole, I mean, there's there's a whole bunch of players for Bingham. This is going to be a really really fun. Region. They always know Riverton's going to be flying the ointment. Yeah, they will yeah. always yep. be right there. Tough losses week to 
to Lone Peak and to Fremont as well. Yeah, Harriman got a win over East this week as well. So we talked about Van Dyke. Jensen had a big game in that one, 17 points. Davis had 10 and 7. His Region 3 is just so good. So good. And how about this? In the last few years, we, we want to see this. West Lake out to another great yeah. start to the year. Yeah, great to see Hester. And, oh, wait. wait. <laughs> This is going to be weird, huh? It's like, what's like it's changing of the yeah. guards. And uh, going to be interesting to see this region for, I don't want to say a down year, but I think some of those teams have graduated a lot of talent. You've seen, you know, Nixon graduate from PG and some of these players move on. And th look, this is the year for Westlake. I know the last couple of years it felt like, hey, maybe, you know, they can you know, do that. And they did. They competed for, for region titles. And, you know, I had a great run in the state tournament two years ago. Yeah, got semis, yep. But, uh, you know, 7-0, Susan Fano off to a really good start this year. Lundgren off to a nice start as well for Westlake. Going to be interesting to see this team. PG, 5-0. and And, boy, I don't even know if I'm going to try this name. Ogungatau, I believe. Hampson back as well. A couple pieces for Pleasant Grove, 5-0. and Probably a two-horse race there. Going to be fun to see. That'll be very, very interesting to watch what happens. And how about Sky Ridge with that team that had a great play yeah. last year? Coach Cantor out, new coach in, uh, but they're out to a great start. A lot of threes, Blackham and Miller, or Holland, excuse me. Holland had a game this week where she had seven threes. So this Sky Ridge team, look, when they're shooting the ball well, they're as good as anybody. Yeah. Let's take a look at 5A. And uh, when you look at 5A, we talk about East going out, but how about the Lady Phoenix? Yeah. This is the year of all those juniors that went yeah. there last year as seniors in every sport playing really well. They're 6-0. and oh. Man, been off to a really good start. Farmington has been. How about this, Dusty? They're 5-0. and oh. They haven't allowed more than 43 points in a game. Hmm. The defense getting the job done. Huh. I wonder. Yeah, that sounds like Coach Price, right? That's what he does. <laughs> we shouldn't be shocked at that, and it's leading to good things for the Farmington Phoenix. The skyline power from last few yeah. years, but after Grange gone, changed the guard, now they're out to a 4-1 start. Yeah, and Clark has been really good for Skyline. Talk about how good this Region 6 has had a chance to see Murray. It was a tough night for Murray, but they got a couple bays. Isis graduated. It uh, doesn't matter. You still have Ailea as well as you've got a, another bay, and I forgot her name. But a young freshman uh, for Murray, really good as well. East in that region. Highlands always a tough out. This is going to be a really, really fun one. Olympus. Uh, had a nice win over Alta this week. Blank went 20 and 13. There's a lot of teams that are going to be in the fighting in Region 6. Yeah, and Region 7 will be very interesting. Lehigh, Lehigh out to a 6-0 and start. Yeah, how about a big win over Lone Peak? Right. Pioneers getting the job done. That game 67-61. Warren had 25. Well, Macy Warren had 25. Meanwhile, Madison had 12 in that ball game. Lehigh has been really impressive in the early goal. And they had another nice win this week over Pleasant Grove. So this Lehigh team, hey, they're not afraid to schedule up. They've gotten some nice wins in doing yeah. so. Region 8 will be very, well, it, Springville, it just hasn't been the same for a little bit. Yeah. Maple Mountain's down this year. Region 8, this is a rebuilding year. It feels like yeah. the bottom of Region 5. Yeah, it feels like Region 8. This is going to be an interesting watch to see who kind of rises to the top of the region, right? And, uh, you know, obviously Lavender Briggs not being at Provo anymore. Right. That's a that's a big hole you got to try to fill. Uh, <laughs> Yep. yep, Region 8. Exactly. We're going to learn a lot as the season goes on. Be very interesting this year. Hit us up. Let us know where we're missing it. We try yeah. to cover a lot. When you cover yeah. boys and yeah. girls basketball, that leaves you over. We 200 cover, plus teams. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot to take in. Please yeah. hit us up. We'll do our absolute That's best. Right. But one thing we already know, everyone is already in the state tournament. All right, let's pick your preseason. Our way too early yeah, yeah, state yeah. championship yeah. predictions. The f we'll do this with quick hits here for yeah. Utah Army National Guard. Where are we starting? Oh, let's go 6A. 6A? Oh, hang on, Dusty. He's always got props. Last week it was a widow. He went to a widow, and this time he's going to props. Would you like a cookie, son? <laughs> hey, I know we uh, we joke a little bit about the Fremont Silver Wolves, usually with the boys. There's no reason we can't have milk and cookie for the girls. I got the Fremont Silver Wolves. We rode all the way to Mount Pleasant. Would you like a cookie? I'll hold off for right now. Maybe Maybe later. Yeah. It's you a save, mini. Those, save those for the drive home. Nice. So Fremont? Yeah. He read my notes. I'm going with Fremont too. Uh, I think this is the year. Emma Calvert, Carver, I mean, there's a lot of great pieces. Yeah. I think everyone's odds on on that one. All right, yeah. 5A. I mean, I don't know if this is the sound they make, but caca, caca, I got the Phoenix. That's kind of a bird, right? Like a fiery oh, bird guy? thing. <laughs> I got Farmington. <laughs> Defense wins championships. I know you got to score points, but Coach Price, I got Farmington. Champions win champions. New coach. Same two good players. 
I know they're stumbling right now, yeah. but they're playing a tough schedule. I'll go east. They're good. They're yeah. really good. Uh, Falatea, Falmasili. Yeah. All right. We'll roll the dice on that one okay. and All see right. what happens. All right. All right. Hit us up. Who do you think is going to win the 6A and 5A championships? Lord Classifications, we got you. We'll be on you next week as well. For Vince Francis and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us. I'm watching Desert News Rewind presented by Hyde and Associates and brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard.